If Kim thinks she has the power to fire me from our family show, it's just crazy. Kim recently found herself in hot water for how nasty she was to Courtney in the season 4 premiere of The Kardashians. It's no secret that they've been fighting for a huge part of their lives, but now their feud has reached a scary new level. Almost everyone in Courtney's life has turned on her, and a lot of people are pointing the blame at Kim. But is she actually the one at fault? This story is more dark and twisted than you could ever imagine, and one of the newest episodes of the Kardashians, Kim and Courtney got into a heated discussion over the phone. But then things took a turn for the worse when Kim claimed that she, Chloe, Kendall, and Kylie had a separate group chat excluding Courtney. Kim explained that the not Courtney text thread is where they all discuss the concerns they have about Courtney. But it's also where they talk about what Courtney's friends have said to Kim about how different and unhappy her older sister seems. You hate us? You, you're a different person, we all That's talk about idea. it. But Kim made the feud even messier when she crossed a major line. Your kids have even come to me with problems that they have and how you are, so. Kim made it seem like pretty much everyone was in agreement with her, including Mason, Penelope, and Rain. It's no wonder Courtney was so hurt. It's you and my friends and my kids and everyone against me. But is Kim really the reason why everyone has turned their backs on Courtney? Some people believe that Courtney has actually been playing the victim. Considering how rude she could be to her sisters in the past, not everyone is convinced that she's completely innocent. I don't get people that are so selfish like you. It's disgusting to be related to you. Courtney has obviously made some harsh, unnecessary comments to her family members, but when she was interviewed for an episode of Amanda Hirsch's Not Skinny But Not Fat podcast last year, she made a surprising revelation. Courtney confessed that she and Chloe used to be kind of mean-spirited with how they treated Kim when they were upset with her, but at some point around 2017, that dynamic totally flipped. Courtney explained that because Chloe and Kim were expecting babies at basically the same time, they grew closer and formed a special bond, but Courtney was also going through a lot of changes. I think I also started therapy at the time and then became more self-aware. There have definitely been times when Courtney has said cruel things to her sisters, but therapy really helped her to learn how to control her hurt and anger. It's clear that she's made an effort to change her harmful behavior over the years. That doesn't mean it's impossible for Courtney to cause problems in her personal relationships. But at around the same time, Kim also started to take advantage of her role in the family in such a disturbing way. As crazy as it may seem, Kim might have actually caused some of Courtney's loved ones to turn against her. And judging from what Courtney said during the phone call, she can see right through Kim's shady behavior. You are a narcissist. It is all about you. Interestingly, right after Courtney said that, Kim started dragging everyone else into the argument. She used Courtney's friends and even her own children against her, which is a manipulative tactic that narcissists regularly use. But that's not all. You cannot stand someone else being the center of attention. This has been a common theme between Kim and Courtney, and it seems to be a much deeper issue than just competition between siblings. Over the last few years, how Kim has been acting, especially around Courtney's kids, is honestly insane. In an episode from season 20 of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, Kim told Mason all about her personal disagreement with his mom. She even used Courtney as an example of how Mason should never treat his family members. But what Kim Kim had done a few seasons earlier was absolutely terrible. In season 17, Courtney had been trying to set boundaries with how much of her personal life was being filmed, but Kim wanted her to keep sharing everything so that she and Chloe didn't have to talk about the drama going on in their relationships on camera. At one point, Courtney decided to lie to Kim about what she was doing, which ended up being found out. Instead of respecting Courtney's privacy, Kim encouraged Penelope to call her mom a liar, but if the roles were reversed, Kim would completely lose her mind. Throughout the same season, Kim and Chloe repeatedly accused Courtney of not working enough because of her filming boundaries. In one episode, they FaceTimed Courtney, who answered while she was cooking with Penelope. Courtney invited her sisters over to try the food that she and Penelope were making, but what Kim and Chloe said to her was unbelievably rude. Oh no, we're filming. We have a job. We're working. We have a job. 
Kim then threatened to fire Courtney from the family show when Penelope was right next to her. She clearly doesn't see anything wrong with badmouthing Courtney to her own kids, but when it comes to Kim's other nieces and nephews, it's the total opposite. When Kim made a guest appearance on Jimmy Kimmel Live, she was asked what was going on between Black China and the Kardashians. She revealed that she wasn't going to speak about China because she would always be the mother of her niece, Dream. Kim has also mentioned that she never says anything bad about Kanye in front of their kids because she doesn't want to negatively influence their relationships with him. She even protects them from learning about his controversies by not allowing them to watch TV. So why does Kim refuse to give Courtney even a minimal amount of respect? In true narcissist form, Kim tries to make others seem bad, or at least worse than her. She's obsessed with staying relevant, being the most successful, and having the best public image. But when a narcissist gets exposed, they usually resort to a smear campaign. And that's exactly what Kim did next. As soon as Courtney started calling out Kim for being selfish and caring more about money than family, she became a target. Kim constantly said that Courtney was weird and crazy so that people wouldn't think she was very believable. It was extremely similar to what she had done a decade earlier to Rob. In a 2012 episode of Keeping Up With The Kardashians, Rob arranged a family therapy session and asked his mom and older sisters to join. He hadn't felt much support from them, especially regarding his business ideas, but instead of working through things, Kim and Courtney had an emotional falling out. Rob accused Chris of favoring his sisters, but especially Kim. He claimed that Kim was the most selfish person ever, and he also slammed her for constantly excluding him from everything. But in Kim's opinion, Rob just needed to grow up and be more responsible. At the end of the session, Rob had an absolute breakdown. Courtney cried from seeing her brother feel so hurt, and Chloe tried to comfort him, but Kim showed no mention at all, which was actually kind of unnerving. Now, Rob has basically disappeared from the family altogether, he's worked on a few projects over the years, and has even launched a hot sauce brand, but none of his sisters show him their support, despite promoting many of each other's brands on social media. What's been happening with Courtney is eerily similar to what Rob went through after exposing Kim's true colors. Courtney has tried to explain to Kim that they're different people with different priorities, but Kim continues to twist the narrative so that it seems like something is really wrong with Courtney as a person. It definitely seems possible that Kim played a big part in turning everyone against Courtney, but there's also been some drama in Courtney's new life with her blended family. Before Courtney and Travis Barker learned they were expecting a baby boy, they were spending the majority of their time traveling together. Their seemingly never-ending vacations eventually caused people to accuse Courtney of pretty much abandoning her kids. More recently, there's been speculation that Mason is purposely trying to avoid his mom. He supposedly wants nothing to do with her or Travis, but it turns out that Mason isn't the only one making his feelings known. Landon Barker recently made an appearance on the Zack Sang Show podcast, and what he revealed about his dad and Courtney having a baby together was so surprising. I kind of wish she was a girl, though. Really? Wish I was only the Barker, the only Barker boy. Courtney has obviously been dealing with tension from her side of the family, although it's mainly because of Kim. But Landon is clearly feeling some type of way about there being a second Barker boy in the family soon. It's really hard to know what's causing people in Courtney's life to turn against her, but she recently shared screenshots on social media of her friends denying ever being in a not Courtney text thread. It turns out that Courtney found out that the only people in the group chat were Kim Chloe. Kylie and Kendall. Maybe they have problems with Courtney because of how she treated them in the past, or maybe Courtney was right and Kim actually is a narcissist. But now that we've talked about why everyone turned their backs on Courtney, I want to know what you guys think. What are your thoughts on her labeling Kim as a narcissist? Why do you think most of Courtney's sisters have started distancing themselves from her? Let me know in the comments below.